Warning! This video contains mathematical equations. If you are allergic to math, stop watching right now. Hello everybody! In my previous video I showed empirically that applying force to a torque wrench off the handle will alter torque delivered to the bolt or nut. That using extensions in the axis of rotation will not alter the torque. That using extensions elongating the wrench may change the torque delivered compared to the torque set on the torque wrench. In this video I will show how to calculate new torque with an extension and how to find extension length to a specific torque value. Here I have a torque wrench set to 61 newton meters. The units I use do not matter. Calculations are the same for any units you will use. The torque wrench clicks at 61.2 newton meters. Sixty one point one. Now I set an extension at ninety degrees to the wrench axis. It is a little bit difficult to set it at dead on ninety degrees, but the wrench flexing will compensate for minimal offset. With this torque wrench accuracy of 4%, we are close enough reading 60.2 and 61.1. Now the extension is set straight with the wrench axis. Seventy three point five. Seventy four point one. Seventy three point eight, and seventy four point four. Extension set at ninety degrees doesn't change the torque, but when set straight, increases the torque. Let's see how we can calculate the torque changed by the extension. Here we have a torque wrench where L is its length measured from the middle of the handle where the force is applied to the middle of the head. E is the length of an extension measured from the middle of the torque wrench head to the axis of rotation of the bolt or nut. Lower case L is the difference between the lowest and the highest settings on the wrench. Yes. The wrench length changes with the different torque setting. Here we have a formula to calculate delivered torque D depending on the torque wrench set torque value N and L and E values. In our example, the torque wrench was set to 61 newton meters. And the length L at this torque setup was 44.5 centimeters. I use the European notation of comma instead of dot, but bear with me. And the extension 9.5 centimeters. Simple calculations show that the torque delivered to the nut should be 73.81 newton meters. And it was. Within the 4% accuracy, 73.5, 74.1, 73.8, 
and 74.4. You can ask, why should I bother? Let's say your wrench scale ends at 100 Newton meters, or whatever units you are using, and you need 120. Or you need to fasten the nut that will not accept a socket. In those cases, you can use extensions and calculate required torque. Here we have the formula to calculate torque delivered D. The question is, what torque N we must set on the wrench using extension E? The problem here is that the length L depends on the set torque N. So we have one equation, two unknowns. But the relationship between N and L is linear. We can calculate this. Since we are always looking for nice and easy, let's see how we can get around this, because it's kind of complex. It is going to be easier to find E when we know D, L, and N. Let's say we need to deliver 25 newton meters to the nut, our D, so we can set the torque range to 20 newton meters, our N. And since we have determined N value, we can measure our L at this setup. But it only works when we can regulate the length of the extension E. Using this, or this kind of extension. But what about the case of fixed length extension? Easy. As we saw in our experiment for our calculations, we need only the length E, the distance between the center of the torque wrench head and the axis of the nut rotation measured along the axis of the torque wrench. In this case, if we will set the extension at 90 degrees to the axis of the wrench, our E will be zero. And we deliver torque value D equal to the torque value set on the wrench, N. Doesn't matter what the value of the beta angle is. We need only E distance. Because of this property, fixed length extension can work like a regulated length extension. Let's go back to the calculations when there is no option to go around it. We like to find what torque value N we must set on the wrench to deliver torque D to the nut or bolt when we use fixed extension E and cannot tilt it. Not likely scenario, but this part is for a small percentage of the hardcore population. We also know that there is a linear relationship between the length of the wrench L and the torque value N set on the wrench. It is kind of counterintuitive that the longer the wrench, the smaller the torque. But keep in mind that the torque wrench is not a breaker bar. There is an internal lever compressed by a spring in the click type wrench. This linear relation is described by this linear function, where this part is a slope of the line, and this part is the point where the function crosses the n-axis. We already know the minimum and maximum values of the n and l for this specific torque wrench. When we plug all known numbers into the equations, we can compare them group all values on one side and set it to zero. Now we have a quadratic function and by calculating delta we can determine the L value. It is minus 9.67. We cannot set the range to this length and the second is 44.6 centimeters. When we solve for n then we have 60.5 newton meters. This is the exact scenario from our test in this video. The values of 44.5 and 44.6, as well as 61 and 
are a little bit off due to the rounding numbers during calculations. One can ask if there is a smartphone application to calculate this. Let me tell you something. Put the phone down. Do not rely only on the apps. Your phone battery will run out of juice, and what then? Your thinking is switched off too?